Boom. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> oh. Excuse me. All righty. Hello and welcome, everybody, to tonight's absolutely stunning and fantastic dinosaur action. Dinosaurs. The only thing I do. Whew. I'm probably up to about 450 live streams. If you think you want me to do something, chances are I may have already done it a year Two years ago something like that adam how's it going how's it going yes some dino fun before bed good 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 looking forward to the nom noms absolutely however this isn't the list exactly that i'm going to use tonight there was a post on reddit asking about a list that focuses on quartzwood crash or it wasn't an actual dinosaur themed list but i had to give it the dinosaur spin i've done quartzwood crash a little bit before in the past it does fantastic things, making a token equal to the total amount of trampled damage that we dealt to an opponent. Ooh, ooh. Certainly munching on opponents, I imagine. Man, that token that's made, sometimes it is a 12-12. You do just so much insane, insane damage. Oh, oh. The carnage, 100%. Yes, Ze Zeno. Zeno, Xenagos, I know what you mean. However, with something that has a thing that cares about trampled damage specifically, naturally I gravitate towards the fantastic new-ish Rampaging Raptor. Of course, it does lovely stuff. Many of you guys have found success with this, especially in mono-red dinosaurs. Pretty straightforward. It's a dinosaur for four. There's a lot of creatures and things for two. We go turn two, Marauding Raptor, Huntmaster, or Pillar of Origins. That is a special one. Nice, stable, mm. beautiful, beautiful indeed. Hey, we leave all the lands in the library, which is pretty nice. Compare that to Thunderherd Migration. One in a green, we reveal a dinosaur, we get to pull a basic, but for the same amount, any color and mostly all dinos, so this definitely makes sense. We tap for a man of any color for a dino. Hmm. That's definitely quite important with this particular list, but the main idea, playing one of these things on turn two, you get to accelerate out something for four. Possibly, if things go well, you get to go Huntmaster on turn two. You go Marauding Raptor on turn three for one, and reduces one of these four-cost dinosaurs to two because you stack that cost reduction beautiful beautiful oh it is a lot of fun yeah, yeah that's the main idea but stable ramp something for two and you can use that mana right away especially say well you play some other stuff uh, turn three you have a land pillar of origins you could go pillar of origins for two tap it for a red for marauding because it's an artifact you get a use it and you're still left with one mana from the third land that you played for that turn and you could go another marauding raptor something like that but in a few cases the fact you get to use this mana right away on that turn could be pretty impactful a little bit of interaction it was suggested with that list it was using ram through dealing damage to target creature and any excess damage is dealt to the opponent that sometimes could finish him off certainly but i never really liked the fact that ram through specifically didn't make the token because quartzwood crasher it cares about combat damage not any damage sadly ram through making a token and the regular combat damage that happens when you attack that would be pretty nice Maybe that would be a little bit too good. So I opted for inscription. Good all around. Usually not dead. As long as you have a creature, you slap those counters on. Maybe you gain a bit of life. Make something bigger. Fight something. But again, ram through could be something fantastic to consider. It might be in the sideboard here. If you are doing best... Oh, nope, Savage Stomp is... Okay. We'll leave it there. But something like Savage Stomp, which requires... A creature on the opposing side switch it up for that ram through 
ram through the winds, especially when you target a 1-1 one, one creature. So you have Quartzwood Crasher, 6, or, or, bear with me, Xenagos, woo, woo, like you mentioned. Xenagos to double Quartzwood, make it 12 power, ram through, targets a 1-1 one, one creature, so you deal 11 damage. 11 more damage continues on through with ram through. Boom, that's like, uh, well that could be lethal right there, so it's definitely something to think about. Easy enough, ram through is course a common no reason why any of us can't try that out but again going back to Xenagos it's like uh, well it's still one of my favorites certainly make a creature bigger you're doing more damage you're making a bigger token and that's what it's all about but it's also kind of card advantage it's not traditional card advantage but you double one creature so it's kind of as if you have two of that creature in a sense. Boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Regis Ralph as well. That's what you want. Hasty. Usually you want to be attacking as aggressive as possible, making the 3-3. Three, three. Could make all the difference. You go Regis or Alpha to start, you follow up with a Quartzwood Crash, or you get to attack with it the turn you play it. Very lovely indeed, although Xenagos does provide haste as well. So there's going to be a lot of scenarios depending but uh, usually for the most part you should be attacking with pretty much everything that you play basically rampaging raptor haste shifting ceratops you can give it haste hunt master could give haste to anything else regisaur everything has haste quartzwood well i would hope quartzwood gets haste from uh, the other things and then embercleave as well like xenagos it's like you double a thing you more than double it though because you get plus one plus one I love it. Usually I want to see it uh, a little bit more than one copy. So two is more than one. That's basically why I ended up on that specific number. Mm, beautiful. You could trim a copy here, trim a copy here, toss in, well, maybe a couple more lands, but I think there's a fantastic, lovely ramping package. Fantastic enough. But yeah, it's easy enough to you know trim one, Trim one, jam in a couple more lands, and speaking of lands, I do have to highlight the main one here, Secluded Courtyard. We are getting Cavern of Souls with Lost Caverns of Ixlan, but with a spread that is pretty even between red and green with this particular list. We see uh, 24 red, 20 green. Yeah, and I certainly could tweak the lands. You could have a few less basics because there isn't any creature that is grabbing basics from the library. So you could go down to maybe four in total, three potentially, two mountains, four forests, something like that. Oh, the new Galta Adam is absolutely stunning. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Man, that is, uh, well, it's going to be fun. The new Galta entering the battlefield, and then we play the old Galta with the new Galta, and we have two Galta. That's going to be pretty confusing. Uh, opponents will probably be mousing over that. And certainly that could line up quite nicely. Galta Stampede Tyrant in a list like this. I would want to tweak it a little bit just to be able to cast the new Galta a little bit easier. That's for sure. There is no cost reduction part. Uh, cost X less where X is the total power. It's just a Galta that costs 8. Which is not too bad. It is not that hard to cast, depending how you tweak things. With the cost reduction, of course, Marauding, Hunt Master, a little bit of nice stable ramp, you should get there. I'm excited to get there. Man, Galta to Galta to Galta. Just think if we have both of the other Galtas, this one, and Galta and Maverin. Ooh, ooh. Explosive amounts of damage right there. I should record myself saying that, absolutely. I should figure out some pun for Quartzwood Crasher. I'll think about it. But yeah, the sideboard, if you're playing best of three, back to nature, boom. If you hate enchantments, you won't anymore with this. Pretty straightforward. Destroy them all. Tranquil Frillback, just uh, general, all-around good stuff. 
you hate on artifacts, enchantments, graveyards, and you gain a little bit of life. It doesn't have trample, but it is a dinosaur. Makes pretty good sense. Yeah, easy enough to switch out, but you know you have a wide range of coverage. Maybe you trim it down to three, but it can be so impactful, especially against Rakdos midrange. I have loved this, I must admit. Playing it, taking it reflection of Kiki Jiki, entering and exiling the graveyard as well. So you don't have to worry about Kroxa. You might gain some life. Then you trade with a Blood Tithe Harvester. That's a, a pretty nice package indeed for one single card. I do like that frame, yeah. Some of the dinosaur treatments, not so much, but something about this particular frame, it's, uh, it's unique. It's pretty cool. It's like a lost treasures, I guess. I think they call it the coin treatment. Uh, yeah, it would be cool to see Quartzwood Crasher with the Tranquil Frillback coin treatment there. Man, I think that would look pretty slick. Hmm. Moving on though, Anger of the Gods thus make your aggro and some mid-range opponents angry. Just cursing the skies because they had to face down this losing to dinosaurs. That is rough stuff indeed. Pretty straightforward when to bring it in if you're facing off against anything with death triggers. When this dies, well, it doesn't die because exiling is different. Boom. Skips over that part. And three damage, and that just seems to be the sweet spot against a lot of stuff. Two damage to each creature, nah, not quite. Doesn't quite get there. I was thinking about that, yeah, no. I just love to exile. Yeah, you could go two and one, two and two, two and three. Maybe you go three Anger of the Gods and two Brotherhood's End going for five total sweepers. If you get to five, six, you definitely should expect to see it in quite a few variations of hands, but sometimes three just isn't really enough. You may have to mulligan pretty aggressively, I would imagine, and sometimes I've had to do that, especially with Back to Nature, when I know I'm facing five color fires of invention. Mm, that is, uh, yeah. I mulligan a couple times, hope I see it, and if a hand is good enough early on, I just gotta keep it, sadly. Maybe if I've taken game one, I'll keep a hand that doesn't have back to nature. But it is always nice to get a win without revealing the fact that you have some pretty specific and devastating hate against any particular deck. But yeah, to 2-1, two, sometimes I've liked four total sweepers just because there's a lot of aggressive stuff and it is pretty hard. This is not the fastest deck in the world, of course, but it certainly can be fast. Like I mentioned, lots of haste is definitely going to get the job done. A mono black kick? Ooh, ooh. Enchantments? Are you bane? Yeah, Feed the Swarm, I imagine, is uh, pretty rough stuff. Whenever you destroy an artifact or enchantment, you lose life equal to its mana value. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. Ah, it's rough, but it is nice, I guess, that Mono Black does have a potential way to deal with that. Yeah. Hmm. Savage Stomp as well, like I was mentioning. Switch it up for the ram through, possibly, and Tyrannix Rex. Finish stuff off. If you face off against control, very straightforward. You bring Tranix Rex in, you trim Galta, maybe an Ember Cleave, maybe a Xenagos and a Ember Cleave, but I really like Xenagos. You land it, even if you don't have any creature. Any creature from then on is going to be doubled, it's going to be hasty, and that could make all the difference. Especially if you go Xenagos, you Top deck of Quartzwood Crasher, boom, 12, and you make it 12 12. Oh, that is pretty stunning. And Xenagos is a little bit difficult to deal with, being indestructible. It does tend to stick around a little bit longer than other stuff. But yeah, that mono black kick, oh, discarding things, that was painful. But last night was extra painful for that Azorius Lotus Field, or regular Azorius, I think it was. Thought Distortion. 
four and two black can't be countered. I made them exile their entire hand. The only card they were left with was Strict Proctor. They got so tilted and salty that they ran out the clock and they just went AFK. Man, that uh, I've never had the pleasure of doing that before, but I could certainly get addicted to basically wrecking certain opponents just like that discard your entire hand almost and whew, that is never going to get old but i say move on from this uh, fantastic potential of a list trample time man will save an exit we took out that one stomping ground we'll get to the main attraction here walking dinos a walk with dinos dinosaur walk through whatever you want to call it yeah yeah thunderherd migration I wanted something stable for two. That's basically it. So we got Thunderherd in. Lovely. Now I could up the basic clans. We'll see how painful that gets. I have three forests and one mountain. Sometimes I start off with a basic. Maybe I draw a couple. By the time I might play the second Thunderherd migration, there is a real possibility there's no basics left to grab. Sometimes that's happened with five basically never with six but four huh, that's uh that might be asking for trouble so we'll see we'll see how it goes but 12 things for two sometimes i do eight things for two ten things for two figure out the mixture that you like or just try stuff because you're having such a good time hmm, hmm. yeah hunt master marauding raptor as it was with that quartzwood list and then realm walker the thumbnail sake of tonight i was just looking for something different that is card advantage like ripjaw raptor i had ripjaw raptor in place of realm walker but then i got thinking i want to i want to try this again i don't think i've put realm walker quite through the paces and this certainly has the potential to get me more cards than ripjaw sometimes i don't even get a single card with ripjaw which is very unfortunate i play it sitting around maybe i get to attack with rip jaw raptor the opponent doesn't want to block or any number of painful things but this potentially being able to chain a bunch of cards off the top that could make all the difference multiple dinosaurs hopefully but wanting to maximize that i did opt for 23 27 technically because you can count Realm Walker itself as a dinosaur. When we play the first one, I guess there would be 26 left. Maybe 25 left if I have a Marauding and a Realm Walker. So let's say, let's say 25 are left after I play those two. I think that's still a pretty healthy amount of a specific creature type. I don't know that I would want to go a whole lot more because, again, I want to maximize the chances of at least playing one thing. Possibly... I draw land for the turn, and there's a dinosaur underneath. That could make all the difference. Getting me one turn ahead. Boom. Play it off the top. Love it. Hmm. Keep that going. Hopefully. But if I do need to switch whatever is on the top, keep in mind, if you're doing something like this, and it's a land that's just sitting there, that's not so fun. Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, is fun. Minus two, we look at the top three. Hopefully there is a creature in the top three. We exile it, and uh, for as long as it remains exiled, we can cast it. That's pretty fantastic. The opponent can't discard that creature, and of course they can't discard our library. They can mill the library, of course, but this Realm Walker and Vivian playing things from exile or from the top, that's to kind of combat discard stuff. I may not have anything in my hand, but I may still be able to play a bunch. Absolutely. Oh, flash on the creatures is great. At the end of the opponent's turn before mine, maybe it's a control deck. So they do have some mana up there ready and waiting to stop what I'm going to do. But I play a bunch of stuff. At the end of their turn, they have to tap out. And then I can do who knows what safely on my turn. That's going to make a big difference. However, keep in mind... Flash on creatures. What is something that has a very good enter the battlefield effect? Boom. Oh, oh, look at that. 
Look at that. It's lovely to potentially have Tranquil Frill back with Flash. Instant Speed Graveyard Exile. That is really what you want to do, especially with Grease Fang. I've tried this specific synergy combo before. Yeah, man. You can imagine. There's a lot of stuff that has a spell, targets a card in their graveyard. You flash this in. You exile the whole graveyard. You destroy maybe some artifact that they have. You destroy the artifact that Indomitable Creativity is targeting. Whether or not it's a Traxa or Xenagos and World Spine Worm. I think for the most part it is an artifact that they target. Maybe more often than a creature token. I'm not sure I'd have to look at the specifics, but yeah. Indomitable Creativity, maybe you get to stop that. Destroying the thing they're targeting. And you gain some life, but... Ooh, this instant speed flash. Beautiful. Oh, oh that's, that's going to do the trick. So we have card advantage. We have protection against flying with the plus one. And we don't leave ourselves open with the vigilance. That's lovely stuff, I must say. I could go up to three copies. I did have it at three copies, but I did want to increase the land count to one. I thought, eh, you know what? Let's slap in a Bonder's Enclave. Get a little bit more card draw. If we're in a pinch, we can pay three, draw a card, draw the non-dino thing off the top. And then we're good to hopefully continue with the Realm Walker there. But yeah, Vivian, minus two. We grab a creature and hopefully the fourth card, the one that's now left on top, is a dino continuing the chain. But keep in mind, Thunderherd Migration. What does that do? We search for a basic, we shuffle the library, and hopefully after that shuffle... A dinosaur is on top instead of something that you can't play. Maybe it was uh, a hunt master. It's a little bit unfortunate. However, if you have a second realm walker, you could just play it and name human. So you're not caught out by potentially hunt master just sitting on top. Painful. Painful stuff indeed. Doesn't happen all that often. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Mana base wise, nothing too crazy. Mostly it is the basic lands there. Yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty standard. Shifting Ceratops, love it. Big power, fantastic power. However, there is one thing that we do have to keep in mind. What might that be? The four ancient Imperiosaurs. How does that work? How does that make sense? Everything is ramp for ancient Imperiosaur, whether it's a land, whether it's a creature. <coughs> Oh, my goodness, excuse me. Whether it's a land or a creature, and again, Marauding Raptor and Huntmaster, both of those reduce Ancient Imperiosaur by two with the cost reduction and the creature themselves, which is lovely. We could potentially, though, see an Ancient Imperiosaur on turn three. We go Huntmaster on turn two. We play Marauding Raptor for one. So we're left with two lands. We've played our third land, on turn three. Two lands left. Realm Walker for one green. Boom. With that cost reduction. We're left with one land. We have a Hunt Master, Marauding, and a Realm Walker. If we can play another Realm Walker, four creatures, that'll get the job done. Or Marauding. No. It's a little complicated. It was a Marauding. You have to have two Maraudings. So Hunt Master, two Maraudings, that is three reduction. Take an Ancient Imperial Sword down to four. Then you have a Realm Walker. Yeah, you have to go Hunt Master for two. Marauding for one. Realm Walker for one. And then you play your second Marauding Raptor afterwards. You can't have four damage because that would take a Realm Walker. You have to go... Mm -hmm. There you go. But yeah, you have a Hunt Master, two Maraudings, and a Realm Walker. Boom. Ancient Imperial Sword. You only need four. Although you need two. Oh, you need two green. I have to think about this. It's, uh, it's a little complicated. Two. Uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But either way, lots of cheap creatures. Get an ancient Imperius or That's what it's all about. I say we jump into it. Whew. But certainly, calculate everything. You can get a surprising 
ancient Imperosaur. That's what I'm getting at there. Liliana Dinos, not tonight, not tonight. Not able to play super duper long. My mom is up, so I want her to get to sleep at a good time. I am recording as always in the spare bedroom. So sometimes that does cut things short. Also, my daughter cuts things short, but that's okay. That is a, that's a fantastic reason to be cut short for. Oh, playing first, lovely, lovely stuff. Facing off against what appears to be maybe Rakdos Sacrifice. This is a little bit unfortunate seeing two Castle Garen breaks. Certainly if it was a source of red, this would be absolutely ideal. And I might have risked it if I was on the draw going second, but uh, oh, okay, that did get a fair bit better. Nothing for two, unfortunately. But certainly if I have no small creatures, they can't steal small creatures. That's what it's all about. Shifting Ceratops. You can't claim the firstborn to temporarily steal it and then attack with it and then sacrifice it. However, oh, we've got white. Heroic. Token. Huh. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. However, we got Castle Garenbrig now. That does mean we will get to Carnage Tarrant at some point. Yes, okay, so it is Boros Heroic. Ooh. A few edibles. Good, good, good. That's okay. Of course, you can easily pick up afterwards if you guys are watching this in the morning or weeks and months and years to come. This is, oh, I spoke about Carnage Tarrant with Castle Garenbrig, making six green for Carnage Tyrant's mana value of six. Woo. Just ask and you shall receive. Beautiful. And again, keep in mind, this Bonders Enclave, that would have been Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. So we're about to see how good this could be. Will we get to six? Hmm. We'll see if we draw another land, but if we don't draw another land, this uh, is gonna be lovely. Not so lovely, of course, the classic Reckless Rage targeting the 10th District Legionnaire. Not fun. Not fun at all. Yeah. They make it bigger, do a lot of damage. Dreadhorde Arcanist, kind of rough. At least they can't attack with a Dreadhorde Arcanist. I must admit, that's good. However, the 10th District Legionnaire is probably going to be a little bit too big. It's chances are going to be able to trade with Carnage Turn. Hopefully, I can trade with it. But at the very least, I have a creature that well, they can't target. They can make their creatures unblockable, or at the very least, the Tenth District Legionnaire. There, it could be big enough and have double strike, possibly. Well, it's good. Ooh, that it. Yeah, protection, so I can't block. Yeah, five. I imagine that's going to be it. Sometimes it just uh, eh, doesn't work out. Going to be a little bit rough this matchup, especially painful. Ooh. Well, it's only seven. We're not dead yet. Okay. Okie dokie, huh? A valiant effort. Man, that is a big 10th District Legionnaire. It was easily getting to 12. Nothing we can do. That's all right. Tranquil Frillback. I'm wondering about Tranquil Frillback. JDX, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. Not a super long one tonight. Like I was mentioning, but yeah. That's too bad. Anger of the Gods, maybe, if we could sneak it in before that 10th District Legionnaire gets, well, above three toughness. Hmm. 
taking out the Dreadhorde Arcanist, also nice as well. I could see myself trimming, shifting a Huntmaster potentially, especially with their love for Reckless Rage. Whew. It is pretty darn fantastic. One red, four damage to target creature. Two damage to their creatures, but of course, their creatures always survive. Uh, let me think. Rip Jar Raptor? Well, that does make a lot of sense. Switch it with Shifting. Big time. Take out T-Rex. Galta. I'll bring in those three Anger of the Gods. I like it. I like the... Yeah, I like Tranquil Frill back here. Excel the Graveyard could be good. Huh. Chicken fried rice with... Oh! Oh, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Day-old rice. But yeah, absolutely, Adam. Ripjaw is going to be... Well, it would have been good. Man, what was going on here? It's kind of like the two Castle Garen Breaks, and now it's two Mono Green Sources. Pretty unfortunate, of course. Nuts. That's how it goes. And this, of course, is infinitely better. Certainly keeping that. Send Regisort to the bottom. The costliest thing. Again, Rockfall Veil vale does have to be that first land. If it's less than the third land, it does enter tap. So we really need two mana, at least, coming up. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. Oh, we got it. Good stuff. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it does hurt to see him go to the bottom. That's okay, though, because we're going to reveal a dinosaur. We're going to reveal Marauding. We get to three. We still ramp in a nice, stable way, but we don't have to worry about taking out Marauding. The opponent is ready. They're going to kill the creature that we play next turn. However, we're not going to be playing a creature. We're going to be playing Anger. So it's nice. We still do something for the turn. We don't have to play Marauding to maybe... Block. Oh, oh boy, no protection. No, do something on someone. Yes. Only one counter. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, they're going to pack it in. Mm, this is lovely stuff. Exactly what I was hoping for. Man, I'm... I'm... Ruthless aggression! Yeah, this is... It. That's what you want to do. Phew. Hopefully that buys me a, a little bit of time. Hmm. Ancestral Anger, though. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, no. Maybe they have some sort of protection. Hopefully that's not the case. They're wondering. Maybe another favorite hoplite, a, a swift spear. I certainly could have another sweeper. Hopefully I do. It would be... An, oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, I imagine they have something they can do. They're ready to kill Marauding. Hmm. I'm going to do another Thunderherd Migration. And then play Marauding. To draw out Reckless Rage, I would imagine. We'll see. See if we can get them. Either way, I think they would either protect it with God's willing or use Reckless Rage to take out Marauding. We wouldn't be taking out the 10th District Legionnaire anyways. Not sure why the opponent is waiting so long. You can see here, we're already down. Uh, Unfortunately, we have one basic left. If we draw basic, there's nothing. Thunderherd Migration is not going to be able to grab... Yeah, yeah. Anything. That kid, it's going pretty good. To start tonight, I did a little bit of a rundown on a Quartzwood Crasher list. Focused on that lovely dinosaur. Whenever creatures deal damage, all the trampled damage that was dealt, you make a token equal to that. And, hmm. Lovely, lovely potential. But overall, things are mm, they're going pretty good. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh boy. 
Oh boy. Yeah, yeah I, I like this. I like this. We want to block. We want to draw out something for one. Do it. God's willing. Ooh, okay. Okay, well. The games are certainly going a lot better. Hopefully they don't play land. If they are tapped out, we can take out both 10th District Legionnaires. I knew they had something, but I wanted to do this. Certainly I could have helped Marauding back. Mm, not the case. Especially when we get to smoke them. Love it. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. No lands. Oh, it's a tap. Yeah, good. Beautiful, beautiful. Get him. Yes, there you go. We'll have that stompy ground enter. Tapped. I want to at least pay a little bit for Tranquil Frill back there. Exile a graveyard potentially. Gain a bit of life. Block something. The opponent must be feeling pretty sad right about now. And I was even thinking of not bringing in Anchor of the Gods. Down the bottom of that, it's, it's kind of rough. Dealing four. Although it seems like they have no other creatures. Interesting. Well, at the very least, we could play Marauding plus Tranquil Frillback doing two activations of its ability. That should buy us a little bit of time, I hope. Gain four life. Exile the graveyard. I'll take it. I believe too, certainly. Hmm. Uh, it feels pretty healthy at nine. But maybe we have to worry about that goblin token. They certainly could slap a bunch of their stuff on it. Make a big trade. Something like that. Ooh, another den of the bugbear. Well, I certainly know that Tranquil Frillback is going to trade with it quite fantastically let's let, let, maybe they have something for two damage that can take out marauding hopefully that's not the case but uh, ah uh -huh, i wondered goblin decks are always scary of course Den of the bugbear that can get out of control ugh, ugh, the hunt master where's where's all the other stuff unfortunate well we'll hold marauding back because they could do some painful shenanigans that's for sure yeah can play anything could have played anything uh, trainix rex or trim trainix rex i think carnage turned at least that would have been beautiful I gotta stop three damage. I can't go super low. Ooh, lower. Okay, well, uh, I mean, we're not dead yet. Just getting a little bit flooded. It does have to happen. Well, it's bound to happen at least once or maybe twice in a night. Huh. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, 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 ready. That tends to do the trick. Oof, ouch. There is another anger yet, yeah. Certainly could have been, but, uh, hmm. I would have had to block the 10th District Legionnaire getting to four, sadly. Would have lost Huntmaster. Hmm. Painful. Stuff. Maybe. Maybe I could have drawn that anchor. Yeah. But sometimes they do sneaky, sneaky lethal. You might miss one extra point of damage with various things getting counters, and is it plus one plus O oh, or is it plus two plus O? Oh? Do they get a counter after this? Are they unblockable? 
yeah, yeah it's just uh it's, sometimes it's rough we did good things with anger but sadly nuts that's too bad where was ripjaw raptor when you needed it not there we got through a quarter of the deck and we still didn't see a single one unfortunately that's just how it goes sometimes huh ooh, who oh that Where's that second source of green? We saw two mono green sources the previous match in the first hands of game one and two, but that, that's not going to do it. Okay, better, better. Well, I'm not going to mulligan again, that's for sure. Ancient Imperiosaur, well, I like it. I definitely like it. We'll send Forest to the bottom. We saw how sometimes, again, there is the potential to run out of basic lands to grab. Definitely feels nice with four lands there, especially. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Good chance we'll draw something for four or less, I would imagine. By the time we get to turn three. Spirits. Ooh, ooh. Darn mausoleum wand. Oh, well, I, I was wondering if that was going to happen. Well, you never know what you're going to draw, of course. Usually, you never know what you're going to draw. Hopefully, we can uh, sneak them in. Crossing my fingers. Oh, boy. Hopefully, okay. Oh, nah, well, I was hoping not for Curious Obsession. Also, for maybe something that was white that could deal with Hunmaster. They're not too worried though. They got their card draw engine going. Unfortunately, we just have to hope there's no Geist Light Snare or just Geist Light Snare for one. Maybe. They're thinking about it. Use it now or use it on something more expensive Excuse me, later. Nope, they did it. They did it. Uh, darn. Dang! Oh. Man, we'll chip away with it. That's the best we can do at the moment. Yeah, man, I'm counting down the days until we get Cavern of Souls, and I never, basically never have to worry about these scenarios happening ever again. We're going to see Cavern of Souls enter. I'm going to name dinosaurs, and they might just concede on the spot, depending how many counter spells they have in hand. I have to imagine when they see that, well, a lot of their stuff in hand is dead, blanked, no chance whatsoever. It's not going to be a pretty sight. Hmm. Well, we're certainly not dead yet. Oh, it's going to be good for Zomp. So many decks. Uh, they were just waiting for that. Maybe it'll put them over the top. Although it's not like stuff with counter spells is overwhelming to face. It's a reasonable amount. Spirits, Azorius Control, Is It, Indomitable Creativity has some counter spells too. But uh, yeah. And we'll see. We'll see. Vivian Champion of the Wilds is not going to do a whole lot. We can give Huntmaster a reach, but it's going to die to Mausoleum Wanderer. That's not doing a whole lot for us. Well, I'll... Uh Pay the two life. We'll get the Ancient Imperiosaur down. I like that. Hope they don't have a counter spell. Either way, it was going to be rough. Who? No, no. It's pretty rough when their counter spells are one blue. Well, they haven't played a Supreme Phantom, so that is uh, supremely good for us. Plus one, plus one to each other spirit they control. Although they are getting a counter on each creature with the Light Shield Array at the beginning of each, or their end step. Put a counter on each creature that attacked this turn. 
Ah, uh, shifting ceratops is too little too late. I mean, I'll, I'll give it a go. Might as well. Mausoleum Wanderer is going to be too... Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's how she goes. Spell Queller is well, basically one of the only things that can uh, get us. I hate that darn Spell Queller. It has caused me pain too often. Before Arena was even a thing, when I was playing dinosaurs and seeing about spirits, I was prepared for a Spell Queller. Going back to mid-2018... 2019 there hmm. I was like oh I hate the spell queller that was that was rough eventually we got shifting ceratops this was before shifting I was like what can I do against spirits all the way back then yeah not a whole lot of course Tyrannix Rex it's a thing that can be countered at least hopefully we get the carnage turn certainly trim ancient imperiosaur Galta, yeah, I'm going to bring in Anger of the Gods. I don't often bring it in, but I've always wanted to, you know, try it out. See if we can get them to tap out, do something, and then sneak this in and potentially destroy all the spirits. Certainly be worth a shot. Got to try something. I could maybe do Back to Nature. Taking out a Curious Obsession. Uh, one for one. They play Curious Obsession. We play Back to Nature. Boom. Smoke them. Tranquil Throwback also would do that. Let me think. Nah, we'll keep it like that. I certainly want to keep in Vivian Champion of the Wilds. Again, for the potential of Reach helping to block the pesky spirits. Ordered Ramsey would blush. Oh, that does sound good. Just don't ask Gordon Ramsey to make you scrambled eggs or a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese slop is more like it. No, he usually cooks good stuff. He does it, of course, differently than maybe most of us cook. Now, yeah. do I like this? Mm. I like seeing shifting, but definitely. I would like to see something for two. Let's. Oh, okay, okay. That I think quite a bit better. We get Huntmaster, lovely stuff. Turn two, Vivian. Turn three, and we may lose Vivian. So hopefully we get something else that we can play instead of her. It would be nice to get shifting on turn three instead of this. But again, starting off with that Mausoleum Wander. Ooh, nuts. Meatball sub? Oh, drowning in cheese. That does sound good. Reminds me of a sloppy joe. I could I could go for a sloppy joe at some point. Huh. <laughs> Down. We're not done for yet. Where's that tranquil frill back when you need it? Anger of the gods. Right? Hmm. I'm thinking. We just got to do it. We can't uh, let them continually draw cards. That's not a good thing. We take out a creature and we take out some card draw. We probably have not too many more chances to uh, do this. We know they can't counter it. They have Mutavolt. That is colorless. I really should have attacked with Huntmaster, but I was just so excited to actually get this off, I forgot about attacking with him. I'm not used to wanting to attack with Huntmaster. Dies to most stuff, of course, being a 1-2. Okay, okay, well, they may just counter what we play. Could it be Lofty Denial? I think if they don't have a creature with flying... We have to pay an extra one. But if they have a creature with flying, we have to pay an extra three or four. So if we have an extra one, potentially we can sneak it in. Well, I'm going to try for a sheltered thicket. It has to enter tapped at some point. I'm going to try for a realm walker. We'll see. 
Good, good. They may just have Geist Light Snare. Keep in mind they have no spirit and no enchantment, so currently Geist Light Snare would be costing three. Hmm. I love it. And we got the Realm Walker. Uh, well, we can't play Tranix Rex next turn, unfortunately. Oh, I would teleport right there. Hmm. I'd have to channel my inner Doctor Who with the TARDIS or however that stuff works with all the new Doctor Who cards that are coming out. Who would have thought that would be a collaboration? Aha. Uh -huh. Another Realm Walker? Well, I could see myself doing that. I do kind of like Vivian, though. Give the Realm Walker reach and... Uh, let's... You know what? We'll go, we'll go Castle Garenbreak. We'll make that six green. Because there could be another creature underneath that we may be able to play. A third Realm Walker. Oh, it's not a third one. That's all right. We know we will be playing... Human, human, I've got to remember to do that. We name dinosaur, we name human, and we increase the number of stuff that we can play off the top. But seeing that Castle Garenbreak, we get this guy next turn, and hopefully the aggression isn't too bad, too little, too late. You can't spell Queller a T Rex, that's for sure. Okay. There are a couple things that could deal with it, but hey, we landed. I think we're in a good position. Ooh, a Regis Ralph off the top. Of course, they got four. Uh, get them. Love it. I think it should be safe. Uh, can't counter. They can't target it, certainly. They only have four lands. Yeah, that's going to be painful. Now that's a clock. We weren't feeling too good, but now we're feeling much better. Ouch. Maximum aggression, that's what you gotta do against the spirits, especially because they're tapped out. Realm Walker can't block any of the spirits anyways, because they have flying. I don't think they're gonna deal 14 to us. We should be safe. They didn't flash in any Mausoleum Wanderer or uh, Rattle Chains. Oh! Okay. I was wondering about Supreme Verdict, yeah. Oh, spice from Korean barbecue, eggs. Oh my goodness, that was lovely. I had homemade farmer sausage with homemade mashed potatoes, fresh green beans, green beans, a lot of love. Fresh green beans from the garden where I used to live. My mom picks them, freezes them. Oh, they're the best. Lovely. But yeah, the homemade fried rice. Mmm. Beautiful. I think the verdict, Adam, though, is that was pretty good. Whew. Whew. Especially that anger. That, that 100% saved us. One less creature, a little bit less card draw. If you can really hurt them in the card draw card advantage angle that's gonna bring the pain in beautiful ways will I be able to sneak in an anger I don't know but I'm gonna try maybe we have four five lands we can draw out a counter spell with a creature they're gonna think we don't have the sweeper because we play a little thing that would die to the sweeper but that's the whole thing. We want to make them think something else. And then boom, surprise. Anger of the gods. And this hand, of course, is going to be, hopefully. Oh, 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 a nice hand. Absolutely. It just got better. Wow. Wow. Hopefully Huntmaster is not countered. Fortunately, they didn't flash in the Spectral Sailor to slap on Curious Obsession. Oh, okay, well... Well, let's get it. No counter spell for two. Change the equation. I hope not. Lofty didn't own. Oh, no. White based removal. Witness protection. Rattle chains. Rattle chains. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, homegrown fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, a splash, and a dash of salt and pepper with cheese, breadboard. Oh, wow. Yeah, that certainly is hard to top. It's going to be hard to top when we drop marauding for one and shifting for two. Hopefully they don't play a blue source here. That would be problematic. Hmm. I think, um, let's cross our fingers they don't draw it. No, no blue source. Oh, boy. Oh, they got a source. The, yep, they're holding that up. All right, all right. I'm not even going to attempt Marauding Raptor. I think that's all but guaranteed to get countered. We still get to go shifting. It's not optimal, but... Well, they don't have Spell Queller. Spell Queller costs three. They only have two mana. That's what we're doing. And hopefully they don't have an Ether Gust. I hate Ether Gust. See ya. Ooh. No? Hmm? Oh, I jinx myself. Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. You know what? I'm going to put it on the bottom. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Let's do it. I have a lot of other stuff to play, so it's not like that would have been my only play and I would have wanted to keep it on top. Certainly it can't be countered. Lovely. But we could sneak in that Anger of the Gods. Maybe if we draw... Well, we'll see. If I draw another red source, I could go Marauding for one. Maybe draw out... A spell queller to tap out for that and then I go anger of the gods to decimate and smoke them but I'll certainly try for marauding at least that would have been nice I'll, let, let's see what happens with marauding I think I might prefer realm walker to survive maybe they'll wait and not do anything I, okay okay Let's hope they don't have another something. Maybe it's all over because they have two counter spells, unfortunately. Lost Caverns of Ixlin, can that release um, next week? That certainly would be nice. But speaking of Lost Caverns of Ixlin, I put my order in. I'm going to be opening up a lot of packs. Get excited. Oh, it's hard to be more excited than me. My, oh my. I've been waiting like five years. Five? Yeah, basically five years for another pretty heavy dinosaur theme set. Man. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could try Anger of the God. Oh, okay. Let me think. Maybe I should just attack. They have so many cards, six. I'm, it's basically guaranteed. But is there something we can do to draw out counters or bouncing or flashing? I'm going to try attacking with both. They'll think something is up our sleeve. Of course there is, but uh, uh, not so much. Well, uh, waiting for that spell queller, I imagine. A last ditch effort. Gotta try. Nope. 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 That, that will do it. Lock things up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just do mainly dinosaur based stuff. Cavern of Souls can't be countered. I would imagine with Cavern of Souls, this matchup has to be quite a bit more favored. Maybe still not heavily favored. Perhaps it will become heavily favored, although it's not like I face this a ton. There certainly is a wide range of stuff. Yeah, at the very least, I do have shifting ceratops. Can't be countered. Sometimes can't be blocked. Shifting does have reach, so that's pretty, pretty reasonable. No? Huh? 
maybe all caps, we'll see. But speaking of that, because I did play the music on the stream, I did get a copyright claim. It's not a strike, so copyright claim is not bad. It just means I won't make any money on the video from YouTube. Something like that. I wasn't making any money anyways, but uh, maybe in the future I'll just listen to it. I'll have the screen open on whatever version on YouTube or however I'm listening to whatever song and I'll just mute it muted on your guys end so you can see me as I'm listening to it reacting to it that sort of thing but yeah that double card draw <laughs> curious yeah curiously good painfully painfully good yeah the five dollars came in clutch you, uh, you paid for the copyright claim but again I'm not worried I think it's fantastic to actually play the song. You guys listen to it. I listen to it. It brings everybody together. And that's the thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd certainly be up for that. Uh, if any of you guys didn't see it, last night I listened to an MF Doom song. Man, it was good. It was good. Uh, biscuits and uh, butter, butter biscuits. That's the one line that sticks out to me. Butter biscuits. Whoa. Probably because I love biscuits in general. Fresh. Maybe clam chowder with cheese. Garlic herb cheese biscuits. Sprinkled with parmesan. Ooh. Ooh. Man. All right. Hey, we got a good keepable hand at the very least. Bunch of stuff for two. A source of red and a source of green. Of course, we'll hold off on this Craig Crown Pathway or Timber Crown. If we can play other lanes before it, wait until the last possible moment. Don't want to play it as a red source, but really would have needed that green source. Certainly a keeper. Oh, yes, hot enough to liquefy the butter. Oh, almost, oh, oh. There's that root bound Craig. Good, good. We can hold off on the dual faced land. Yeah, 100%. You gotta have something hot enough to liquefy the butter. Then you let it cool and you sprinkle on some whatever coarse sea salt or something. Something tasty. I, yeah, I. Reasonable, yeah. However, they got Blooming Marsh. What would they have? I would imagine it could be Fatal Push. Let's just not worry about it. Let's pay two to get ahead. Buy one forever. All right. Source of red? Well, certainly I usually lean more towards green. Most commonly, it's pretty heavily green. And we have two red sources already with Rootbound Craig with Carpus and Forest, so we're we're good in the red source department. That's for sure. Yeah, the biscuits. Ooh, I love biscuits, man. man, man. Hmm. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Definitely Carpus and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, we're... We're good. I don't need two sources of red. We can use Carplusen. We don't have to worry. But if I wanted to play Marauding Raptor, I would have just used up both potential sources of red. I don't want to do that. No siree. That would have been rough. If Huntmaster lives, we get Tyrannix Rex next turn. Kill Realmwalker. Do it. Do it. Castle Karen Bay can make six green. Tranix Rex is reduced to six. Oh boy. Um, cross your fingers because I imagine they have a bunch of stuff that can kill my stuff. Not great. Maybe I would sneak it. I'm not going to sneak an Imperius or Tranix Rex if I can. If they kill Huntmaster, I still get to go Imperius or though. Castle Garenbrake to make six. Realmwalker 
would be the seventh. And boom, we get him. Okay, okay, they got one, one black for fatal push. Phew. Just getting a little bit worried there. Not sure why they played reading. Okay, no, they played it for. Ah, ah, I see. I see. That's actually pretty neat. They pay one red. They don't attack, but because it is a red spell, it makes questing druid bigger and it bounces and they can replay it each turn. Hmm, that is, uh, that's pretty good, but, uh, Trainix Rex is gooder. Boom. That's what you want to do. Perfect. That's going to be pretty painful to come back from. Ancient Imperiosaur next turn. Maybe we can go shifting plus Ancient Imperiosaur. Certainly I don't want to tap Huntmaster for the Convoke of it. I want to leave Huntmaster untapped to give this haste. Whether it's an 8-8 or... 10 10. An 8 8 still would be pretty good. And they may not be able to target it, especially with the Ward 2, if they play a couple things this turn. That's not going to work. Yeah, family's doing good, JDX. Yeah, all is well. All is well. Maybe another T Rex on the top deck. There is only two, I think. Might be three. I certainly love three and Four copies of it, you're seeing right here. How good is that? It's backbreaking for the opponent to do. They have to basically hold back enough to stop it. But if they don't attack, then we're still healthy and we... It's a hard hill to climb back from. What are they going to do, though? Huh. Ah, Riveteer's Charm to... Make us get rid of T-Rex. That is good. That is good. Although I still have other good stuff. You can't Riveteer's Charm when, well, you're tapped out. Hopefully they don't have another one. Too bad. Okay. Man, just a bunch of lands on the top. I would have hoped for a Marauding Raptor. That would have been beautiful stuff. A Marauding Raptor for one red because of Huntmaster reduces Ancient Imperiosaur by two. One from the cost reduction, one again from the creature itself. Now, now I have to think. Can I go Castle Garenbrig plus shifting? Castle Garenbrig to make six green with these lands, plus Timber Crown. Seven green. I use three for shifting. I'm left with four. Realm one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, boy. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting them. Folks, strap yourselves in. This for three. Ancient Imperiosaur costs six. Three, four, two. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's how you do her. Thumbs up. Boom. I love it. Good, good, good. I hope. I was actually kind of excited thinking uh, thinking it was going to be 12. I did my math a little wrong, so hopefully hopefully we're not dead. Coming up here, huh? we got seven. I think we'll be okay. They, uh, okay, okay, no, that's pretty good. They only have eight. Ooh, that is, uh... Well, we still should be pretty good. And the deck is shuffled. We had a Carpluse and Forest on the top, so... That would be nice to have... Well, a dinosaur underneath Huntmaster there, I hope. Oh, oh, yep, yep, Marauding Raptor for one. Go time. And a uh, Carpluse and Forest. Man, that is... Unfortunate. Oh! 
Okay. Good. We got him. Phew. All right. Well, uh, anger of the gods, hundred percent. We see what they're on. Uh, Jund, mid-range, black, red, and green. Certainly seems like anger of the gods could be pretty devastating, big time. Yeah. At the end. Well, that was pretty good. Costing him two less. I was so excited that they miss cast it for four and they didn't have an extra two to pay the ward to but it cost two only they paid the ward two for a total of four I mean it is pretty good not some of the best removal but if you're five or less I mean it is uh, it's a last ditch effort that's a pretty good last ditch effort though switch out shifting they're not anything blue Traded for Ripjaw. Imperiosaur? Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Trim Galta, at least. They have a lot of removal, so certainly Ancient Imperiosaur is more durable. That's for sure. One Hunt Master. Nah, we'll keep it in. One T Rex. Whew. Okay, okay, lots of good stuff. I still like the potential of Ancient Imperiosaur. I think they're somewhat lighter on the removal side of things. Mostly having good creatures. So maybe some of the earlier creatures will stick around. We'll get to play that Ancient Imperiosaur for 10 or 12, hopefully. Maybe 14, ooh, that'd be lovely. I love this. We got two lands, two sources of red, two marauding raptors. By the time we want to go anger of the gods, I mean, I imagine we have got that third land. And we've got Ripjaw, so that's even better. Marauding turn two, second marauding on turn three for one. And then with the third land, we have two green, I would imagine. Ripjaw, pink, oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of awkward. Rip drop ping twice, though. Possibly. Man, what is going on here? I certainly won't feel bad playing Marauding. I have a bunch. If I have to go Anger of the Gods... I don't, oh, oh, wow. Thought sees it had to happen at some point tonight. You know. Hmm. What you gonna do? It is unfortunate they see Anger of the Gods. We can't use that as a nice little surprise anymore. Oh, they got rid of one Marauding. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, maybe just a fatal push to finish off this one. Hopefully that's not the case. It is. It is the case. Nuts. I mean, they don't have a whole lot more in hand, so that's that's pretty good, too. I'll take it. All right. I know it is. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Definitely almost gone. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, we're not drawing lands, unfortunately. You'd certainly hope to with... 23. I would have expected to, at a minimum, see the third one. Ten cards in. All right, all right. Play that Mosswood Dread Knight. Watch us smoke it. Watch us not smoke it. Well, that's how she goes. Statistically... Improbable, but not impossible. Hmm. Oh, Ugh. Ugh. we don't need that. Well, we got to get the third land at some point here. Yeah, so I've had a lot of scenarios like this. It 
there's enough lands. I know there is. But again, this is not like it's a, a 0% chance. You have enough lands, you still. It doesn't matter what count you're playing. Maybe if it is all lands or something like that, it won't happen. But usually, 20, 23, 26, 27 can happen. Well, we, we finally got it. It was basically over. Unfortunately, they stumbled, but we also stumbled. Realm Walker it is, huh? We'll see what happens. Certainly could have tried for Anchor of the Gods, but at the very least, Realm Walker, Block Shieldred, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, oh, oh, well, Lillian of the Vale, also not, uh, not so great. A rough position. But again, it, remember what I said, Bonder's Enclave is the 23rd land. Bonder's Enclave would have been the third copy of Vivian Champion of the Wild, so we still would have been waiting. We would have been staring down to Vivian Champion of the Wild, so you can see, you know, that, uh, that 23rd land is at least doing something, but certainly not enough. Too little, too late. Or just too little. <laughs> well, keep it as is. Try to go as fast as possible. I still think I want to keep in Anger of the Gods. There's definitely enough creatures that it will kill to warrant it. Or we attack Shieldred Blocks basically any creature as long as it has two power we take her down only needing to be dealt three more damage to kill her go anger of the gods boom get the job done i'll keep it it could be worse <laughs> again i would hope for something for two but well there's a reasonable chance we'll draw it decent And I do like these lands. Again, Castle Garenbrig, that is acceleration. Getting that Carnage turned. Hoping. Uh, no turn one thought sees, but of course, well, it is a fact of life. Like taxes. Death, taxes, and thought sees. Ooh. Not fun. Two Carnage turns, though. That could be potentially pretty fun. I imagine we'll get there. Uh, decent chance. A Thunderherd Migration next turn would be pretty ideal. Thunderherd Migration getting us one turn ahead. One land. Castle Garenbrick getting us a turn ahead. Playing Carnage Tarrant on turn four. Ooh. Well, that's not uh, exactly what I was hoping for. We'll play it. We'll hope it doesn't die to... Oh, oh. It didn't die. They don't have Fatal Push. They had a source of black. Ew. Sacrifice. Okay. Okay. Lillian is good. Certainly Lillian of the Veil last night. That, that really did the trick. My oh my. Ooh. If we have to discard, not too bad. We'll get rid of Trinix Rex, certainly. is the costliest thing. Maybe I could get rid of Carnage Tarrant. You know what? I'll get rid of Carnage Tarrant so that they lose the information of everything that I have in hand. Hmm. It would be nice to surprise them next turn by dropping it. Oh, they sacrificed a permanent meeting the requirement of Fatal Push to take out Ripjaw. Nope, never played against this kind of thing before in my life. Pesky, painful. Well, at the very least, we got Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. That's pretty good. We get to go minus two, dig for... No creatures. No creatures. Okay. 
Oh, that is, uh, again, unfortunate. Hopefully there is another land coming up. Just a series of unfortunate events. Well, they're about to see that uh, bad stuff is going to happen. Bad stuff could have happened to them. Oh, no, no not that, not that. <laughs> oh, we don't need, don't need anger of the gods. We'll go minus two to that we see a creature. We can play a creature. Will it live? Well, probably not. Oh, it does. Dying to Lillian is minus two. Or maybe removal. Removal on Hunt Master and then Liliana makes us discard anger. I would not be angry, of course. You win some, you lose some. of removal will be used on Huntmaster. Or maybe they don't have any. Also, that's not great. Ugh. Marauding Raptor does not help us in this scenario. And we'll see what we draw. We're still at a, a pretty healthy 18. But I do imagine it is basically over. Not entirely, certainly. want the haste potential of Huntmaster. Yeah, that, uh, that's certainly going to do it. I'll wait to see what I draw next turn just because I'm curious. I wish when you did get defeated, you could see the next few cards or the entire makeup of the deck go through everything you would have drawn and yeah. But perhaps it's better that you don't see Hmm. Well, we could have played Regis or Alpha. Not that it would have done a whole lot. We're certainly not coming back from that. No time soon. Yeah. Taking at least six next turn. Another four from Shieldred. Two from drawing a card. Lillian of the Veil making us discard Regis or Alpha. That is, uh... Well, can't win them all certainly there is some decks that you will more often lose against I mean if you were good against basically everything everybody would be probably already playing what you're playing yeah. alright I'll leave it there for tonight a little bit shorter would have hoped for eh, two hours but that was good nonetheless hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of Quartzwood Crasher rundown before the main realm walker list i think it has a good potential still finding my absolute favorite thing for card advantage playing extra cards just drawing extra cards whatever it is whatever it is have a good night good morning evening or afternoon whenever it is wherever it is peace see you later <laughs>